Can Christians use cannabis? The short answer is yes, when used rightfully. And I'll get into that. Uh, no drunkard will inherit the kingdom of heaven. Kingdom of God, okay? So, when you're out there pounding down a bottle of wine, or, you know, bottle of ale, or whatever, and just like, you know, no. That's not good. And it impairs your judgment. You can, you can make some bad choices when you're drunk. So, uh, most Christians would view cannabis on kind of the same level as its instant intoxication. Um, well, yes and no. They're actually on different spectrums. See, when you use cannabis, it doesn't impair your judgment like alcohol would. Um, it doesn't really seem to impair my judgment at all. But that's me. I mean, I'm using it as a medication. If you're just like, uh, you don't know whether you're coming or going, you don't know who or what you are, then yeah, that's not good. But um, the reason I come to this conclusion is because I also look at the medical aspect of it. We have cannabinoid receptors in our brain, other parts of our organs. The only reason those are there is because we're supposed to use cannabis, cannabinoids. It, it helps us. And when we use cannabis, we, it, it treats over 150 different ailments. I don't know how much we're up to. The last I knew was 150, probably up to 200 now, I think. I'm not sure. I'm, you could look that up, though. Um, and so it treats all these ailments without the crazy side effects uh, like suicidal thoughts, um, hardening and darkening of the stool, boils, rashes, or <laughs> my favorite, may cause death. No, cannabis will not cause death. In fact, it's impossible to overdose. Uh, you wouldn't be able to overdose you couldn't smoke that many joints to overdose. You have to smoke so many joints within a certain amount of time that you would die from asphyxiation before you would die of all those cannabinoids in your system and no, um, not even with edibles. Because you get so much in you, you just pass out. Because one guy tried. He tried eating himself to death with uh, edibles and uh, it didn't work. <laughs> but after that, he wasn't suicidal anymore, so. <laughs> but um, all jokes aside, you know, if you can drink a glass of wine without getting intoxicated, is that okay? Absolutely. You can use some cannabis without getting too, you know, blown out of your mind. Is that okay? Yes. Now, it also depends on the person, though. I know a guy before he got saved, before he came to the Lord, he uh, he would party. He used to be out partying, having sex, and well, when he would smoke weed, there'd be alcohol. And those two things just went together constantly for him in his partying days. It was always cannabis, alcohol, sex. Cannabis, alcohol, sex. But when he got saved and he turned away from that and tried to become sober, mm, he thought, okay, well, I can smoke a little bit of weed. That'd be fine, right? No, because when he smoked weed, it didn't hit the same. He wanted to drink, and he wanted to get that feeling again that cannabis just wasn't do uh, cannabis alone wasn't doing it. So he'd have a drink, and that just doesn't stop at a drink. He has more to drink, and then what does he want to do? He wants to have sex, and he's not married, so you know it's just downward spiral from there. Um, so can he use cannabis? No, he can't, sadly enough. It's kind of like the person who, um, smokes cigarettes and every morning they have a cigarette and drink some coffee. They try to quit cigarettes in the morning. What do they do? They get some coffee and, mmm, it just doesn't feel the same. It just, just doesn't hit the same, you know? It just doesn't have the same feeling, the same effect. So it's kind of like that. So it's not for everybody. So if you are one of those where it's legal, 
or medis or you're thinking about getting medicinal, if it's medicinal in your area, uh, cannabis, um, do some self-searching and I would also advise you to pray about it because this is my belief, this is my conviction on it. Um, I believe it was here for a reason, but that's on you. You know, if you pray about it, but something deep down inside is telling you don't use cannabis, then God is turning you away from it for a reason. You know, and sadly enough with that Christian I know, you know, the devil got a hold of it and just corrupted the use of it. That That's what the devil does though. He takes things that God made to be used for good and corrupts it. So... Hopefully this helped you out, just like with uh, having a glass of you know a, a glass of wine and not getting intoxicated. You can do the same thing with cannabis. Now cannabis does have its side effects, uh, depending on what strain you smoke. Like for me, I use a hybrid. Um, you use like an indica base, you might get sleepy, or you might get hungry. But one thing's for certain, it'll make you happy. It'll help level you out. So if you're having a real bad bout of depression, it'll help level you out a little bit, you know? But just use it rightfully. That That's all there is to it. So hopefully this helps you. Um, maybe if you disagree, you can leave a comment telling me uh, why and uh, some scripture to check out. And maybe I'll revise this. But as far as I've seen within scripture and... Um, within the medical use of it, and being a medical user, um, I see no problem. Like, uh, I would rather use cannabis than dextroamphetamine for my ADHD because when I used dextroamphetamine, whoo, I was Superman. I was, I was Ultra Instinct Goku. I was here, there, almost at the same time, just instantaneously, just getting stuff done, and I liked it. I liked it a little too much, and that's when I realized, hmm, <laughs> if I like it this much, that's probably, it could probably turn into a problem, so I need to stop this immediately, and uh, I did. I stopped using it, and yeah, there were some days, you know, afterward, I was like, man, maybe I should have taken it, because I was getting stuff done, I like that, but no, I didn't touch it, so, you know, praise God for that. Key word there in the medication, amphetamine, dextroamphetamine. Yeah, take one too many of those, and it's like speed. You're tweaking. I don't know from personal experience. I was warned beforehand, but, you know, after trying it that one time, the recommended dosage, I was like, nope, no more. So cannabis was, you know, saving me quite a bit. So like I said, do your own research on it, pray about it, and there you go. So, hopefully this helped. Uh, again, any questions, any comments, things like that, yeah, leave them in the comment section. Like this video if you liked it, and share it with someone who uh, may get some use out of this, because maybe they're struggling with a lot of problems, and they, they're taking a medication, and the next thing you know is this medication is giving them side effects so they give them a pill to combat those side effects and the pill that combats the side effects of the medication they're taking is giving them other side effects so they prescribe them another pill to counter the side effects of the pill that was supposed to counter the side effects of the original pill and you know you can just keep stacking up I mean you can get up to like eight pills and a lot of those if not all of them could probably be eliminated with the use of cannabis and it's simple as that so it's medically good and um, you know maybe somebody could benefit from using cannabis um, but again the most important thing is to pray because even if you feel like you don't have any of those issues you know you never combined it with drinking or sexual immorality or stealing or anything like that um, still pray about it if you have that feeling when you've prayed about it and it's just something still telling you no 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 then God's leading you away from it for a reason but that's what the devil does he takes something that was meant for good and corrupts it 
God bless. Till next time.